So this is another example of using synthetic division to learn some things about a polynomial. And I'm going to buzz through this synthetic division part quick now because we've, we've gone over this before. Uh, but let's just get our synthetic division bar going here and then we can uh, work the numbers. So x minus 4 has a root of 4. I put that to the left. And the coefficients of the numerator, the dividends, are 2, negative 12, positive 17, 1, and negative 20. Now before I move on, I just want to remind you, if you're facing a polynomial that has one of these terms missing, like it just went from 12x cubed right to x with no x squared, remember you need to you need to indicate that by using a placeholder coefficient of 0. Don't forget that placeholder if you have a missing term. But that's not the case here, so let's keep going. I bring down uh, by addition, and then I move back up by multiplication. So boom, 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 boom. Uh, I think I see where this is going. And yep, it looks like we have a remainder of 0. Remember, the remainder is this last number over here. And that's very special. When you have a remainder of 0, this doesn't always happen. What that means is you have found a factor. We like remainders of 0. They are really great. So we have found a factor of this polynomial, x minus 4, uh, divides in evenly, leaving no remainder. And the coefficients of the quotients are just given right here at the bottom. So that is 2x cubed. Remember, we always start with a degree that's one less than the degree on top was. So 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus x uh, plus 5. And in this case, it was pretty simple with the coefficients because if you look, the number in front of x on the bottom was 1, 1x. One so we didn't need to divide by anything special. Or you can divide by 1. It's the same, same thing. Uh, 